Hiya, me again. I hope you're well. Oh, I've got a really good afternoon lined up. Um, I've got sausages, pies, beer and some chutneys. What can go wrong? Right, I'm going to start with the beers. The Reedley Hallows Brewery. Reedley Hallows is a little village not far. In fact, you know, I don't even know if it is a village. They've got a, there's a street sign, there's a sign saying Reedley Hallows. But I've never actually seen any houses or anything there, it's just fields. So I don't know how they managed to have a brewery. But it's a Reedley Hallows Brewery. Um, first time I try them. This one is a Pendle side. Which is a, it's a very light, hints of tropical fruits, spicy aftertaste. It's very nice, it's a real obsession ale. You could drink that all afternoon and probably still walk. Yeah, 4%, yeah, it's nice, very nice. Uh, they've got an IPA, Griffin IPA. So that'll be, well, obviously it's an Indian pale ale. What's it say about it? Balanced with a traditional malty sweetness. So looking forward to that one. I think I've got a selection pack, looks like there's two, two of that one. New Zealand pale. I've never actually heard of that, to be honest. A New Zealand pale. What characterises that then? What's it say? Tropical citrus blast. That'd be nice. And away days, which... A triple hopped pale. What's it say? Triple hopped. It says... Hops, hops and more hops. Well, if you like your hops, this sounds like the one for you. So, I've got some nice local ales from a little brewery. I've got my sausages are from Yorkshire, they're from Todmorden, from Porkers. Now you might recognise the name because I've had a Porkers sausage before when I think it was on my sausage Sunday when I tried pork sausages from a lot of different places. Uh, and theirs was very nice, it didn't come out on top, but it was a very good butcher sausage, you know, it was better than anything you're going to get in Tesco. Right, the flavours have got varieties. I've got a La Todd Matina. Which is tomato infused. Not to lose. Not to lose. What they've done there. To win. To lose. That was, they made these to commemorate the Tour de France when it came to Yorkshire for the first time. So, um, it's French sausage, fennel, garlic. Sounds quite tasty. Buster pork sausages. Um, good pork sausage, you A uh, picture of a, a wild boar on the front. Bringing the pig out in all of us. Doesn't take much. Right. Got to love these. Before I even try them. Pork and local black pudding. I'd, I'd have to be upset if I don't like these. If you can get pork, you get black pudding to make a sausage. And it doesn't taste good. It's, it, it's, it's wrong. Right. Scarborough Fair. And as the song lyrics go. Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. Very flavour, oh, that'll have a lovely flavour that. Pork, pancetta and parmigiano. So I've got some cheese going on in this one, that'll be tasty as well. I'm looking forward to this. Fantastic. And the last one. You need that. Pork, chilli jam, lime and coriander. Oh, if I was going to make a sausage, very good. So there's my sausages. You may notice there's a pie over here doing the rounds. It's a pork pie, and it was mail ordered to me from the York Pie Company. First time I've had a mail order pie, and I was very impressed. It came in a polystyrene crate with ice packs to make sure it stays fresh. Excuse me. Very fizzy, this. It's not right, it's just making excuses because I burped. Yeah, um, where was that? In a polystyrene crate with an ice pack. DHL delivered it. It's not Hermes, so you are actually going to receive them. And I'll put the link after the, in the description of this video if you do want to you know, try their mail order service for pies. Now it's not just pork pies, if they open my pie drawers, um, I'll also be trying a pork with, and it looks like it's got blue cheese on top. I'll be interested. A steak, a pasty, and a steak and ale. Just 
found these as well in my pie drawer. These are also from Porkers. They're a bit like, you know the pepper armies you get, normally a petrol station, but they're proper. They're, they're not, they're, they're, these are made of the real things in them. It's not just plastic and flavourings. Uh, and you do different flavoured ones. There's a chorizo flavoured one, and there's one that's got fennel and a few other bits in it. And I think they call them stilettos, but everybody else tends to call them beer sticks because they're fantastic beer food. You, you can chew them and are full of flavour and a bit salty. They give you a thirst. Fantastic. Right. So that's my beer, my sausages, and my pies. The only thing I've not mentioned yet is my chutneys. Now I've got three chutneys, one of which is from Heritage Kitchen and this is a spiced plum chutney. They're in Bake Up. I think it's online basically. Um, I don't know if they've got a shop. You might be able to get in some local outlets. I don't know. But I'll put their uh, URL in the link so you can have a look. This, the next ones I'll, I'll come on to in a meeting. Tell you a bit more about them but they're very special. Right. So, for now, I'm going to cook a sausage. Well, I'm going to cook seven sausages, one of each. Throw the rest of the packs in the freezer. Um, then I'm going to try the sausages, try the pies, drink the beer, and we'll see where we go from there. Okie dokie, I'll speak to you very shortly. You won't even know I'm gone. Right, I've done a bit of cooking. There's four here. There's three still cooking, not that much space. So I've started with the milder flavours, or what I think will be the milder flavours, and the other three will follow on. Now I mentioned chutneys, didn't I? I thought it's chilli jam. And this onion marmalade. Now this has been made by a friend's sister, who's also a friend. Um, and she, she makes jams and chutneys and what have you, but these two are that popular. Whenever she makes them, all her friends and family dick them off her, so she never gets any herself. But she's of the opinion, if they're that good, she's going to start selling them. So uh, I asked if I could try one, because I, I love ch anything with chilli in it I really like, and I love the combination of sweet and savoury. Uh, so chilli jam to me is perfect. So um, she very kindly gave me a jar of each to try. So I'm dead looking forward to it. Specifically, since one of the sausages is a chilli jam sausage, what were the chances? Uh, now she said it goes well with cheese and pies and what have you. And I've got a pie here that we're trying it with. But it's got to be nice with sausages and it chilli jam. Onion marmalade. I don't mind onion marmalade. I'll try a bit of that too. Um, for me that would be more with the cheese though I think. Uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to it. Right. The sausages. Right. The four I've cooked up. If I remember correctly. Are the plain pork. Buster. With the angry pig on it. Todmatina, which is a bit of a mild way to a Todmadon, smarter, and something else thrown at the end. Scarborough Fair, parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme, and the one with cheesy in it, Parmigiano, pancetta. Right, so, here it goes. I might have got these mixed up. Got some unusual flavour in that for a pork sausage. Don't know. It's nice. Let's give it a bit of a kick. It's actually got a background warmth to it anyway, that. Mm. as well. Yeah, I've never, if I just had a normal pork sausage compared to that, it's different. It's, it's more earthy. Maybe it's from one of the rare breeds, like a wild boring type pig. It's nice though. It's almost gamey. Okay. This one, this is a tomato infused. See, it does look a bit red in there. Got a bit tomato in there. Not undercooked, it's, it's tomato. I 
I can taste the tomato, very much so. Not my favourite that, I wouldn't order that again. But I'm going to finish eating this piece because it is not bad. It's just, there's a lot of other sausages I've ordered before it. Very meaty though. Nice. It is nice. I'm saying I don't like it. I do like it. It's just compared to some of the others. Right, this one then is the... Which one's this? Pork. This is the Scarborough Fair one. It is. Oh, that's lovely. That is nice, that. It's nice on its own, but you know if you're making a stew or something, or sausage casseroles, put that in. The flavours that come out of it, it's got all the herbs in it already. Mmm. That is good. So it's chilli jam. Well, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that'd be good on anything. Could even have that with the breakfast, even though it's quite herby, it'd be good. Incidentally, if, um, I'm on the IPA now. Um, it's a very nice IPA. This is a cheesy one. Chock, chock full of meat. Some sausages you get, the meat's sort of ground that fine. It's almost like a pate and it's sloppy. These are nice, you can you know you feel a texture of meat in them. I dipped it in the chili jam before I tried it on its own, shouldn't have done that. But yeah. Any excuse. That's nice, nice flavour. The cheese doesn't overpower it sometimes. Put a very strong cheese in something, it's all you can taste, but no, that works well. Yeah, that's very good. So far, so good. Um, just to recap, the pork, the Buster, which is the, one of the pork ones, it is an odd flavour. It's almost too much flavour for it just to be a pork sausage. The Todd Medina, not for me. Taste tomatoes in it. I'm not a big tomato fan, really. What do they expect? Uh, the Scarborough Fair is gorgeous. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely buy them again. And the cheesy one, it's quite nice. Mm. It is nice. So, I'm going to grab the other three that should be cooked by now, and then I'll crack on with the pie. So, onwards and upwards. Right, I've got the last three. I think you can guess which the black pudding one is, can't you? <laughs> yeah, we've got to lose black pudding and chilli jam lime and coriander. I'm oh, so looking forward to these. Right. Twos. Ouch. Hot. While it cools down. I'm trying to use the New Zealand pail. Oh, it's got a zesty citrus blast. Mm, yeah, a bit zesty. So fennel, garlic, pork. That's nice. I was expecting a bit more garlic than that. When I took it out of the package, you did get a whiff of the garlic, but it doesn't necessarily come through when it's cooked. I wonder why. 
So that sausage on. Look at that. I mean, if you've had pork and black pudding sausage, you like it. Normally, it's a pork sausage and it's better than black bits of black pudding in it. This just like they just thrown black pudding and sausage mixed together and tumbled it all together so it's all come out dark. That is fantastic. That is very nice. That's almost like black pudding for beginners. It's not a full on black pudding. A bit more of a sausage taste to it. Oh, it's very nice. A bit of spice with it as well. Not that it needs it, but. And that with a fry up, you won't be disappointed at all. Well done. Oh, I've got all three of them in the freezer. Way. Right. Well, I'm on to me that sausage. Which is the chilli jam one. I mean, I've seen, I've had sausages with chilli before, spicy sausage. But never that actually mentions jam. So I'm thinking it could be quite sweet as well. Which is a perfect combination for me, the sweet and the spicy. Don't let me down. Straight away got the line. Real citrus kick to that. I can't taste any um I can't taste coriander. And I love coriander. I would like to have had a bit more coriander in it. But there is a bit of heat. Definitely a bit of heat from the chili. Just so you know it's there, which is a good thing because it's a sausage again, it's not there. Blow your head off, is it? Well, it's slowly building, you can feel it. Yeah, you would know it's a chili sausage, there's no doubt about it. But, what I've wanted to do. It's not as sweet as I expected it would be, the dimension of the jam. So let's put a bit of chili jam on it. That worked. That worked fantastically. Oh, and that, that one I'm get. One of them. Put some of that on top of it. Perfect. So they were the porkers sausages. In Tobberton. It says rare their own rare breed pigs. I'm not sure how rare they are. How can you eat rare things? They're not like when they say rare breed, they mean just not that popular for whatever reason. That'd be hard to breed or angry. So don't eat rare things do we as a rule like pandas and tigers. Rare breed pigs are fair game apparently. Right. That's a pork pie. This is a Yorkshire Pie Company. Let's see. Have an incredibly thin slither of this. For now. And let's see what their pork pie's like. Right. I know people have asked me about the jelly content. There's plenty of jelly at the back there. So you know there's going to be plenty of flavour. Mm. 
That's nice. Yeah, it's a nice pot pie, that. And the reason I'm cutting another sliver, I'm not just being greedy, but I did want to try some of this onion chutney with it. Sorry, onion marmalade with it. Because it looks fantastic and smells fantastic. That is very nice. When Kelly starts selling these, I'll put the link on where you can get them. Because that, that chilli jam. Now, I've bought chilli jam before from the supermarket, and they tend to be just very sugary. There's a bit of a burn there, but it is, and you can actually see it. It's just like a, a reduced sugar syrup with flecks of chilli and a bit of garlic in it. I'm not sure what she puts in that. Obviously, chillies um, and sugar, because it's a jam. But well, just look how rich the redness is. I a lot of them you get that they're transparent, but this isn't. It, it looks more like a chutney than a jam, but it is nice and sweet. The marmalade, the only marmalade, Chase puts about a bottle of red wine in each batch. So, um, yeah, no expense bed, it is very nice. So, all that's left me to try are these, which is the York Pie Company, available by mail order if you don't live in York. This is their steak pie. Oh, big, big lumps of steak in it. Look at that. You know what? All, all these little pie manufacturers, the product is so much better than the than the stuff they give you in the supermarkets. There's really lumps of steak. That is good, that is good. He's a really nice guy as well, this chap. I spoke to him at length about, you know, his pies and how we started out. It's accidentally became a, a pie factory owner overnight. And um, doing very well at it. Now this one is a steak and ale. I say his mate's got a brewery and he uses all his mate's ales in his pies. So, uh be good if you could do some sort of deal where you can order the pies in the air from the same place. A real gastronomic experience. Look how dark and rich that is. That's what you want in a steak and ale pie, isn't it? Mmm. Taste the ale, you really can. Oh, fabulous! That so is this idea like, like New Zealand pale ale. Which leaves me with this little monkey. Now, it doesn't have a label on it, but I'm guessing that's blue cheese. It doesn't smell blue cheesy, though, if I'm honest. What else could it be? It's exciting, isn't it? Whatever it is, there's a lot of it. I'm going in. That is lovely. It's blue cheese. 
but it's not the strongest blue cheese you've ever had either. It doesn't overpower the pork. It works right. I say I don't know the other things with blue cheese on it. I mean, I like blue cheese, but to me, as soon as you put it on a burger or this or that, you, you lose the taste of what your main bit is. But you don't with that. It's gorgeous. I wonder what blue cheese is used. I'll find out. Um, if you're watching, put it in the comments. What sort of blue cheese are you using? Because that's gorgeous. That's probably the highlight of my day alongside the black pudding sausage and the chilli jam. And all the beer. The beer's gorgeous. Well, that's um, me done though. It's not me done because I'm not told you what this, this is like. This is away days. This is the triple hot pale ale. This is on hops, hops and more hopsy hops. It's fizzy. It's a lively one this. Okay, it's quite a light ale. That's nice. That is nice. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that. I've got another one of them. I froze my sausages. I need to tidy the rest of this up. Thanks for watching and um, have a good Christmas.